No book stand? No, I, I, I asked. And <laughs> a book stand. <laughs> <laughs> the building delivers. Nice. It's a nice book. That is a nice sweet. Book stand. Brick Maniacs, it's time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Bricks in the Sand Part 1. This is a part one of a two part series. Uh, this is the Gulf, first Gulf War. Yes. Operation Desert Storm. So, uh, as people may know, we did a, a theme this summer, and we've this sort of been a recurring theme throughout the years, but made a book to go with building instructions for a lot of kits that are pretty much uh, either out of production yes. or never even, like in some cases, never even made in production. So Cool, cool. So this is, uh, this I believe is a BRDM-2. Uh, it's a uh, armored Rus Russian armored scout car. Of course, this is all Iraqi armor. Yes. You know, when you s we say Russian, it's, it's not necessarily Russians. So it's kind of cool, it has some cool features. Um, it has a you know, deployable swim vane. We actually did a kit of this earlier, so we went, went through all the paces Oops. earlier in the year. Fix um, that. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Uh, you cannot buy this anymore. That does not open up. It doesn't, this closes though, right? right? Yes, yeah, your hatch is all closed, but yeah. you can't, the, the turret's too small, you can't get it again. Aww. The next one, though, you can fit a mm -hmm. turret. So. Next one, this is a BMP-1. Yes. This is like a armored vehicle here. You can, like, open those We've released this before in different color schemes. It was in right? this, yeah, it was, we did one, we did one batch during the summer. Yeah, you can open, open this. Yeah. The hatches in the back. Oh, there's tons of hatches. This thing's like, hatches. just like hatch crazy. So yeah, cool. so there's like 15 hatches Whatever. on it, but you get you know you get it you, you get, get all the, the details. In the book. Yep. Cool. Next one, oh, you pop the turret. Off. I thought it was. So yes, yeah, so Lando just discovered the weakness of the T72. The one, turrets one, pop off. One shot, easy. one hit. <laughs> it ignites all the armor, and it happens to be in a shape charge, blowing the turret off. Yes. So T72 main battle tank. So that's the extent of the Iraqi armor, uh, or actually Russian armor that you get in this book. And then the rest of it's all the allies, which in this case would be called the coalition. So the coalition forces, we have, we have of course our Humvee. Everybody's this, favorite Humvee. Yep, and this one's shown, this one actually is shown the right, we have, we have this is the kit that we put. Yeah, so, so th this, these are different uh, texture printed on here. Yeah, we have the sticker tiles on here, but. So you can see right here, there's a, we actually included a sticker pack for this. This is showing our, the kit, it's like the real, yeah, this is the this is the kit. This is the kit version. <laughs> and that and the kit actually came with uh, texture printed. It does come panels. with this. Yeah, it comes with the store panels. So but you, if you want to build stickers. it out of your own parts, you can do it here because we have the stickers for it. Awesome. And so. that guy is our six color. That's the six color desert yeah. storm print. He's actually available right now too. So nice. While you're getting the book, you can stop on some stock up yeah. on some custom printed figures. We'll talk a little bit more about figures and stickers and stuff in a little bit. Yes. So next model. Bradley. This is the M2, M3 Bradley fighting vehicle. Cool. Um, so it's a little dusty. <laughs> we need to we can edit that, that out in post. Yeah, right? yeah, right. <laughs> this is the one. Okay, I love this feature. Oh yeah, the deployable tow deployable missile. Deployable tow missile. And if you want to, you can make that into the anti-aircraft version. There's actually several versions, but the the tow is the most common. It was it was the biggest tank killer in Desert Storm. Was it? So the those tow missiles on these Bradleys destroyed more. Soviet armored vehicles than any of the other allied or, or uh, uh, coalition vehicles. Did they destroy more uh, American vehicles than the <laughs> I don't. Did? I couldn't tell you that. I know there was some, there was some friendly fire incidences, but I don't know. I don't know numbers on that. All right. Next up. AMX-30. This is a exclusive and exclusive for the book. You get an exclusive set of instructions. So AMX-30, this one, uh, basically we're, we're, we're talking a lot about the battle of uh, Al Kafchi. Yeah. Uh, I'm not actually particularly familiar with this uh, tank. Well, it's a French tank. Right. So it's it's a French uh, Cold War era tank. Uh, this one happened to be the Qatari army. Yeah. Uh, fought in Al in Al Kafchi, and uh, they had these tanks. I really like this back detail on here. The uh, oh, the grills. Port. Yeah, yeah. Little, little circle there. Fun to do. Well, te technically a challenging kit uh, to design, but or model to design. Yeah, it looks it's great, fun. Yeah. It's a fun build. Um, but yes. Cool. Exclusive to the book. Another sort of semi-exclusive is the next one here. This is push it over. We're gonna have to. I yeah, can, also, I can you, do the you hand can, model. Yeah, you can. You can spin it. Or spin it around for the for the uh, the fans out there. This nice. is the M106 mortar carrier, and people who remember our Kickstarter project to yeah. get the track links going, remember that this was one of the one of those. You know, it was a model exclusively offered in that. And what I've done is I've updated it to use our one and a half wide track, track link. So this is our new M113 design with the M106 mortar carrier. So it's kind of a, a, a mashup between right. our M113 and, and the previous M106. Um, so it's updated, you get those instructions. The book people have been asking for it, but so now it's available again. Here we go. You wanna go front row, back row? Up to you. Uh, let's do back row first. All right, so. drive it up. All right. Whoop, there we are. 
So this is the V150. Um, in this case, it's a V150 uh, Commando, as they call it, but this is a uh, fire support version with a turret. It's got like, like lots of cool back, features. Back rack. It does have opening hatches, and you know all, all the nine yards. That you know how it you goes. Expect. And then this one, LAV25. Everyone's favorite LAV. So this is a U.S. Marine Corps vehicle. Highly, highly popular. It was also used in the Battle of El, El Kafji. Um, this is a 25 millimeter chain gun on it, I believe. Um, maybe it's 20 millimeter. I don't remember. Not 25. Doors open LAV 25. Yes, doors the, dude, the dude, doors do open. Uh, I can't reach it from this angle. Yep. You can fit I'll get guys it. I'll inside get it. of there. It's Ooh. cozy, but you can fit guys inside of there. Uh, we did release a dark gray version of this one, so this is the first time yeah. you get instructions to build it in tan. Of course, you can build it through your instructions. You can build it with any color you want. I hadn't thought of that. You can make a pink one. <laughs> so, uh, here, this is a, this is this, this is a beast. This is an M198. Um, it's an artillery piece. So this is a 100, 155 millimeter uh, howitzer. Yeah. How does this thing traverse? How does it? Well, it traverse is just like that. Up and down, or sorry. Um, Elevate, elevate and depress or how does it's it has click hinges on it so okay. if you do it it's it's gonna but it can over. yeah oh yeah you can. can go all the way up all the way cool. down so yeah it'll look funny if you if you're doing it on I the believe camera. you I'll take you <laughs> uh, and then we have the the five ton truck which I threw a bunch of guys in the back because these guys are actually made with a sticker sheet yes so a five ton truck side side opening you know it has all the features that you'd expect in your in your five ton truck I think nice. a lot of these were were and sent over this as a kit before. Dark gray, yeah, it was, okay, it was, dark it was gray, to yeah. tow the uh, the artillery piece. Oh, right, right. So. nice. So yep, so that was a kit, but never in this color. Uh, and then there's a Yitzy course, kit. Yes, this is the one model in here that the, I didn't uh, design. This bouncy suspension in the back. Right, this is the DPV, uh, Desert Patrol vehicle. The front wheels, I rem if I remember correctly, you can angle them in whatever direction. Yeah, it you is can, it is posable. But you kind of build into that. So you you got to build it. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is posable. Um, and then yeah, it's, it's cool. You, you know, you can sneak up on the enemy. I think it's an electric vehicle. I'm not is it? They probably have multiple variants. Sure. And then here we have the Avenger version of the the Humvee. So your anti-aircraft. Yes. Mobile anti-aircraft battery. You have your, your there's a, there's this thing is eight, so eight missiles and one machine gun on there. So, so like 19. Well, when did this thing come out? Uh, like the late 80s. Yeah, this is so 80s future right here. So <laughs> they had them in there. They they actually had to add an air conditioning unit because that guy <laughs> would get cooked in that little greenhouse canopy in the back. That's so, awesome. Cool kit. So, yeah. So one of the first Humvees to actually get air conditioning standards. <laughs> So, so all these, that's that, and there's also one more that we don't have because oh. it's at our store at the Mall of America. Oh, no. We didn't feel like driving. Which one is it? It's the Cobra. Oh. So you get the, the Super Cobra, Cobra the, it's the AH-1W Super Cobra. Yeah, cool. So that's one thing that's a bonus in, in the book as well. Uh, um, we just don't happen to have one with us. So also, like we've been mentioning, it comes with this sticker sheet here, uh, and here's an, you can see the bulletproof vests that I've designed for the uh, infantry. Um, opened up like that, and that's actually here's a, here's a, what it looks like on a figure. Um, that's a really cool use of, of stickers. That Dan, you're were, you were like, why don't you just make it go over around his neck? Make the actual vest. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, absolutely. So, so it, you may notice cool. it's a forest camouflage. When they went the desert, when Desert Storm happened, or, uh, they had no idea that they weren't prepared to go fight a war in the desert. So everybody right. went over in their green uniforms, their forest uniforms, and it. By the time the war actually kicked off, most of the guys were wearing a, a, an appropriate desert color uniform. But uh, you right. saw a lot of like the flak vests and everything were actually still uh, forest green. And on the, for the oppositioning, or the opposition there, just a simple AK chest rig. Sure, um, and you can just stick it over any, any unit. Yeah, I mean, it looks really sparse right here. I intended it to be put over just any Lego civilian clothing, pretty much. Right. So. And we are, Brickmania is bringing back, we, we, we stopped for a while selling loose minifig parts. Yeah. So because we're going to be starting to do these, we, we like the way that this, these, these rigs look. Yeah. We're gonna, and, and stickers are much cheaper than printing. Uh, we're going to bring back the, the uh, loose minifig parts that we used to sell. So yeah. printed, simple printed torsos, uh, to plain legs, simple printed legs. Cool. We'll be having all those stuff available in the store. It's already started now. So yeah. by the time you go, you can buy your book, you can get a bunch of tan guys to, to put together. Um, much cheaper than buying our six color, you know, fully printed minifigs. So you can still do that. We still have yeah. fi figures, but if, if you like, want to spend more money on bricks, less on figures, this is an option for you. Absolutely. Cool. So No, I'm excited for this book. It's oh, together. Well, yeah, I mean, look how thick this thing is. Yeah, one thing that. you can't really see. This is, it's like an inch thick. It's, it's one of our biggest books that we've released. Right, and it's 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 all full color. Full color. One of the, this is the first, and we have you know there's like product some, shots. Yeah, there's some cool shots. pictures hidden throughout there. That they're not hidden, just and, and one, one <laughs> hidden sort of, on the next page. <laughs> sort of here, I'll just show this to you. One thing that we did finally do 
is we are able to incorporate the brick arms yeah. weapons in the instructions. So we made a great leap, technical leap forward, and we're yeah. able to actually start putting it. So the new instruction books coming out this point forward will start to have all the brick arms cool. in it. So because because otherwise it's just a shows a picture of it. If you don't know how to put them together, it yeah. makes it a little difficult. So uh, the brick arms are now included in the instruction. So that's kind of a cool little feature. Um, it also in the instruction book I should point out. What else? In the back, so each 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 model has its own parts list. If you wanted to go online and say one and low, I don't want to know what that piece is and what the official color is. They're all there. The whole the whole book has a text list like this. Plus, each individual kit. Let me see if I can get one real quick here. Uh, each individual kit will have a technical difficulties. That's not technical. Ba, 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 ba. It takes it takes time. Just a regular difficulty. Just a regular difficulty. Yeah. Technical so you annoyance. also get a visual parts list. Oh, oh. So that's important. So if you're if you don't know what something is, you get a text list and you get this visual list, so you can go figure out what you need to buy or nice. Yeah, preferably you could have this all in your collection. You have everybody has a million tan bricks. Yeah, everybody. So, but of course you don't have to make it tan. It's your any it's your, your any color. If your friends' dolls, mini dolls, need yeah. armored vehicles, which they all do, it's it's all here in the in the in the. A friends themed. The friends themed, yeah. The unfriendly themed. So there is a picture of there's what the you're cobra. missing. Well, there's the cobra. That's a bit long. We don't yeah. have that here. We don't have one here. <laughs> but yeah. It's in the book. Make your own. Make your own. Make it any Then you can look at it. You can make it pink. Make it pink. Cool. All right, and that's, that's it. That's the book. Uh, for more information, check out brickmania.com. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching.